Hello, here is Moon, and here again I have three fancy Abus Pfeffenhain locks in front of me. Two of them, Wavy Line and Wavy Line Pro, I have already covered in the other videos. Uh, the first of them has uh, passive pins just for the key control, they don't do anything for picking. Second one is an upgrade, and the pins are active and they are operated by quite interesting mechanism but I showed it already so I will not go too much into detail. The third one is a further upgrade and it has two rows of dimples here on the key and they operate not the second row of pin tumblers, rather they operate sliders. So there are two sidebars, one on each side uh, that can retract only when the sliders, five on each side are on the right position. And the sliders, they move up and down, but the key has just the dimples, uh, not kind of slider tracks. So in order to make it work, they put the ball bearings there. So the key pushes the ball bearing, ball bearing pushes the slider, slider, well, allows um, sidebar to retract. And it's turns out it's trickier than I expected because all the sliders they have um, serrations. If you want to look at the details before you look at the pick, either scroll to the back of the video or have a look the other one where I reassemble the integral. It's quite interesting there I show all the details quite um, extensively and here let's just pick it. So we start at the pin tumbler part and I apply heavier tension to feel the pins better. Um, and the three pins are two standards and one spool. Okay, now we're in the spooled part. It's pin number two, so let's get it. Counter rotation, click, okay. Main stack is set. Let's get to the sliders. I will be using this multi-pick long straight flag. Um, I don't know which number it has, but yeah. Let's start with the left row of pins or balls or sliders. Just go one by one. So there was some core rotation after one was set or at least moved closer to being set. That's four and five seems to be binding. Unless I'm on the wording. Okay. Let's start again from the stock front. One. Two. And here I apply just light tension, otherwise the serrations catch too hard. One. Two, and I have to move the flag back and forth so that I increase my chances of riding over the sick part of the ball. Okay, some rotation on three or four, I think. That's already beyond the core. And again. One. Some clicks on two. Three. Could have been four as well. No, no, now it's five, so yeah. Went over all of them again. One. Two, 
three. Four. And lots of clicks on five. And the core is already rotated quite a bit. might not be quite set. Or maybe it is. Let me get a bit deeper flag to make sure that's this one. It's bigger and deeper so it's easier to get down. Three four and five all right could be that the left side is already set so let's try the right side one two three four five So, so maybe we should get finished with the left one after all, if something is not done there yet. Let's get back to the right side again. And it's the point where I just don't know which slider. It's probably something is hanging on the very end. Okay, right. Click on three on the right. One, two, clicks on two. Okay, one, two, three. Tiny click on four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There must be just, yeah, that number one was still hanging. Right, and it's open. I will not rotate it 180 degrees because that's where the sliders will, um, sidebars will catch in the opposite slots. So, yay! Abus integral picked on cam. So now let's got it on cam. First, let's lock it up again. Mm 
the key still works. Let's get the clip down. And let's got it. Okay. Let's drop the third one then. If we start doing this way, here are the three key pins. And I know by the colors that that's first and second. Here are the sidebars and I will show them right away that they are not modified in any way. They are just as they were in the lock. And you can see those flat spots they catch quite nicely against the serrations I will show in a bit. Okay, we have some sidebar springs here. Now we are done with the tiny parts. So right now, which one? The left one is the one with the deeper sets. Right now we see the true gate there, but as we start moving the lock, you see the sliders move, uh, the key, the sliders move, and you hopefully can see the serrations on the sliders. So everything's there as it should be. The other side the same and if you want to look close up on all of them go to the reassembly video I showed all those nice details in there I don't want to get the crimped bars out this time because they are a little bit loose already so yeah the only thing that is left are the pins in the main stack. As promised, two standards, one spool. The springs are not so exciting, but let's get them out anyways. One is slightly bent by previous gutting, but it doesn't matter. Nothing special in the Bible otherwise. On the sides, two grooves for the um, sidebars to catch on. And here are the parts in the core. So when you move the ball, the slider operates. So, one last look at the pins. I hope you enjoyed the pick. Thank you for watching. Bye.